What's up guys, Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. Recently someone asked me if I had any scrap wood that I could turn into three by two blocks for their daycare. And I said, of course I do, but obviously I can't just chop up some wood and give that to them as a finished product. I'm gonna laser engrave those blocks and make them really, really cool. On top of that, some of you might have seen it in my last laser engraving hat video. I told you that I was sending out some hats to a creator here on YouTube to see if it might be something that they'd wanna list on their website. And that investment paid off. Finish Carpentry TV just did a merch drop on his website website and my hats were featured in that drop. And on top of that, because I'm an entrepreneur, I'm going to be doing my own hat drop with this cool little logo that I designed for my city. And because I have all of that work to do and it is freezing cold outside, I've been looking at the Xtool M1 as the new laser that I wanted to get for inside the house. So in this video, I'm going to be strictly fulfilling orders with the Xtool M1. All right, so let's start with the uh, hat. This M1 was basically plug and play. I plugged it into the wall. I already have all the software and everything I need to get it started. The only thing I needed to do before starting it was check the settings, making sure I got the right depth and engraving on these patches. What's really good about the M1 is that it has a camera on board, so I laid out all of my patches, took a look into the program to see all of the patches laid out perfectly, brought in logos for each and every single patch, and I meticulously set all of the logos, making sure that they were perfectly square and centered on the patches that they belong to. After laying everything out perfectly, all that was left to do was hit engrave. It's a laser. Laser. Using the M1 and being able to do things in bulk was really helpful because I was able to engrave 16 patches in one go. Which is really useful when you've got a lot of pieces that you're working on. After all of the engravings were done, all that was left to do was to press all of the patches to their hats. Pressing these hats is one of the easiest parts of the job. I just hold the patch right on the hat, press the heat press right down on it, hold it for about 60 seconds, and then if you've done everything right, you can do a little jig and you'll have your hats. The M1 is a 10 watt laser and it's just enough for everything that I'll need to be doing in this space. I do have the S1 out in the shop, so if I need any more power, I can go there for that. Ta-da! I do have a comprehensive video that showcases everything you'll need to know about making laser engraved hats. So if you're interested in that, I'll have that link for you in the description. With these blocks, I really used the camera feature to its full potential. I used the shape tool to make a square over one of the blocks so that I know the exact length and width that my designs would need to be. And then I quickly ran a settings test on one of the blocks that I had to make sure my engraving depth was perfect. After that, I just dumped a bunch of blocks in this machine, laid them out perfectly, picked a bunch of fun files that I thought might fit a nursery room, and hit the start button. I really liked all the designs I chose for this first batch, but the second batch that I made, I added a couple of woodworking themed things in there because, you know, you gotta push it on them while they're young. You know, the downside with working with wood is that you have to sand it after you engrave it, which was not fun with all 30 something of these blocks. I wanted to get the M1 because it's a laser that hopefully my wife will get a lot of use out of because as you can see, she does a lot of crafty type stuff and the M1 has a special blade attachment to it and you can cut vinyl on it. So of course we had to use that feature too because we didn't want to just send out a box of blocks. That's kind of lame. So I ordered these canvas bags off of Amazon and quickly cut a design out with the M1. All you have to do is apply a little bit of heat to your cut vinyl and it'll stick permanently. This was a fun little addition that I added because I wanted to see this product all the way through just in case in the future I decided to sell it. I actually ended up making two sets of these blocks because obviously my kids loved them and wanted one for themselves. If you've been wondering if you should get a laser, let me just tell you, I didn't make any money off of the wooden blocks because it was just a favor I did for that teacher, but with the hats for Finished Carpentry TV, I made $245 and selling my own hats locally, I made almost $500. If I was to sell the blocks, I'd probably sell them for about $30 per bag and I feel like I could get a pretty good amount of orders on that. You can order the Xtool M1 for about a thousand bucks. Now is the time to buy a laser if you're interested in one. Xtool has a bunch of cool deals going on right now. Just go check the description for all those links and details. If you watched this video and thought to yourself, man, that was so good. How can I give this guy money to repay him? Then you're in luck. I have a lot of stuff listed on my Etsy store that you can buy to support the channel. So head on over to reformationwoodshop.etsy.com to grab something.